For about 11 years, I've collected various brands of 18-inch dolls. American Girl, My Life Ass, Our Generation, Journey Girls, Madam Alexander, Adora Dolls, Lotus Dolls, My Friend Kayla Dolls, and Healthy Roots, Zoe Doll. I love all my dolls in every brand because they all have things that I do love and enjoy, but some brands may be more so a favorite depending on certain features and perks, especially since I'm old enough to tell the difference of quality and the things that I like and enjoy. Also, my dolls live on the camera lens for pictures, I won't lie, so some more than others depending on features and ability. Before I start, I just want to say that I have dolls of many, 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 many price ranges. And what I have noticed is that in my own beliefs of opinion, I feel that the expensive doll isn't always the winner when it comes to the better doll or the better brand. With that being said, before we start, go ahead down below in the comments and tell me what doll brands you own and what makes a doll worth it to you. Now let's go ahead and get straight on into the video. The first doll that we're going to be talking about is my friend Kayla, aka Gabriella in my collection. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know what came to me to get this doll. I was very much a child and I saw a commercial and I instantly like knew that I wanted her. It took me like a whole year before I actually had the chance to get her. So yeah. <laughs> so I just honestly just wanted Gabriella just for the fact that I saw her off of a commercial and I was a kid and I wanted her so yeah <laughs> um I if I'm to be honest I don't recommend her which is like also you can't really get her because she's like kind of impossible to get because she's like kind of like you know um banned if you will <laughs> um so yeah, that's great. Didn't know about that until years, years later. But anyways, um, she's all plastic and has no durability to her. So clothes such as pants more so will end up falling off. And tops are usually big and gappy looking depending on the top. Um, she is extremely hard to photograph, which is why she's the doll with the least pictures in my collection. Unless she's in a group setting or usually as a quote-unquote background filler, I would say. Nether nevertheless, I do still love Gabriella, even though, if I'm to be honest, she's not exactly my favorite. But I still love her. <laughs> Moving on to my life as, I have mixed opinions, but they are one of my absolute favorites, and I think that's tellable for the fact that my collection is mainly overtaken by them. Um, so, that's cool. That's great. Um, I got my first My Life As doll back in 2013, and during that time, they were under Madam Alexander. And for me, thinking back through that time, I definitely favor the eyes, eyebrow, and lip combo that they had going on. And the hair was pretty bad quality, which resulted in Kanani about practically being bald if I didn't like rewick her because through the years her hair would just like break off. And I know some of that has to do with the fact that like she was my second doll and I've had her for like literal forever. Um, so yeah, that's like so fun, so great. Mm, even though my Madam Alexander Kanani has a broken leg, still to this day, I prefer the rubber limbs over the plastic skinny limbs because let me tell you, the skinny limbs are literally so annoying and kind of inconvenient. Like, it takes forever to get the dolls to stand up and to like move their legs back in place to being straight and it's just a pain and a headache so 
I would love for the rubber limbs to come back because the plastic limbs literally suck. So, yeah. <laughs> now, I will say that with the 2019 version of the My Life As dolls, their limbs are a bit better, even though they're still plastic, but they can stand up better and their legs don't go like twisting like weird and so yeah they're a little bit better but over time the limbs do get loose so then the dolls are literally like not gonna stand up so that's like always fun and great amazing um so yeah <laughs> their limbs are kind of like american girl limbs but like you can't go inside their heads to like tighten their legs so it's kind of like eh, you know so that's great but let's move on because i can literally go on all day about the limbs and we don't have time to do that so let's move on so for the newer dolls and i would say the 2014 to 2019 era my favorite thing about them is their hair and their bodice is thicker and the hair is like more sturdy it doesn't go and break off and then also i have many but in my opinion and even my mom has this opinion that literally like no two look like um and they all like look different and it may not be like you know outrageously different but like their subtle differences like i have a set of twins and literally they could pass for not being twins because they don't look like so yeah <laughs> the my life as dolls are really good at taking pictures they're convenient and budget friendly and they take nicely to the camera um, I don't care for the 2020 and newer versions of dolls that they have available now only because the heads are like really huge and it makes them look like really strange and that's just not my vibe um, I don't care for it and my mom doesn't care for it because they just like look weird so yeah smaller heads is like the way to go <laughs> so all in all like I said before my life as is one of my absolute favorites and they are extremely like convenient and cheap and I have some that are like furniture and accessory pieces and they're literally like good quality like they don't break on me now like they used to back in like you know the 2013 era so that's fun so yeah so that's like pretty much like all i'm going to say because i can literally talk about my life as all day moving on to our generation our generation is definitely my number two of a favorite i got my our generation doll extremely cheap and in the second hand market but they are extremely cheap and convenient the only red flag I have is that sometimes the nice eyes can come off too strong in relation to unreasonable like brightness and it can make her look strange or like scary looking on camera. Um, but depending on like where she's at and like what she's wearing, it that all plays a role in it too. Um, but I do love her eyes. And um and I've learned how to dress her to like, you know, like I said, compliment her eyes. And I do struggle with her hair at times just for the fact that, I mean, honestly, like she's just about my only doll with super curly hair. Also, I got her like in the secondhand market. So like I said, there's some pieces that are like a little bit wonky that can like throw off the whole thing. So yeah. <laughs> And since, like, I got my, I would say, like, third doll, I've wanted an Our Generation doll. 
it was always on like my little bucket list and finally I got like an our generation doll yay and I love like not only the dolls but I love the furniture pieces the clothing literally everything that they make because like I said it's so cheap and it's convenient so a plus plus for our generation now let's move on <laughs> next is lotus dolls I absolutely love this doll like love this doll I won't lie <laughs> like I don't know much about the brand my mom was the one that had the knowledge of her and wanted me to have one she is 18 inches but she's way shorter than majority of my dolls and I honestly love it especially when doing group shots it adds more to the picture I feel the hair quality is literally like a thousand out of ten I love her in pictures of out of literally everyone. Definitely a favorite for sure. My only red flag is that her head is kind of like bobbly and her head tends to look upward instead of like direct. But I mean, if she's obviously taking a picture by herself, you can just like adjust the camera angles um, to like semi fix it even though she still looks off but I mean she's so cute so who cares <laughs> her eyes don't close which could be a red flag but me personally I don't really care because her eyes are so pretty and it's just not really something that bothers me because I take my nose pictures a lot and like you know for the most part they always have their eyes open so you know, her eyes not closing doesn't bother me at all. I could literally go on and on about how Eliana makes any picture looks amazing and just the fact of how pretty she is. Like, like, literally so lucky and blessed to have this doll. Anyways, moving on because I can literally go on a tangent about how much I love this doll and like how amazing she is. But we can't do that because we have to move on. So, let's do that. <laughs> Next up is Journey Girls. Since about late 2015 or maybe even earlier, I had my heart set on wanting one extremely horribly bad. <laughs> I finally got my first Journey Girls doll um, when the brand came back. And let me tell you, these dolls are so deceiving. They literally have the cutest face as in ever, but their feet are literally so skinny and small that it's literally nearly impossible to find shoes that will fit them. Like, I have brought shoes for these girls, hoping it will fit their feet because they're so skinny and small, and literally, shoes are too small, or shoes are way too big. <laughs> so that's like great like mm, definitely like a really big red flag for me but and they have a skinny torso of bodices and limbs that you have to really be strategic about how you dress them and you know that's great <laughs> nevertheless that minor thing doesn't restrict my love nor put regret in me for wanting one just for the fact that they have beautiful faces and hair too. The hair is thick and it curls, which is a plus for me. Also, I feel they have a classy, mature look. Like, even my mom said that, like, the Journey Girls dolls, they don't look like little kids. They look like, you know, teenagers. So, that's great and amazing you know to have a different look especially since you know majority of my dolls are like not children but anyways moving on that's all i have to say about the journey girls next up is healthy roots and for me what i literally just said about the journey girls in relation to like their feet being small and the whole torso thing is exactly the same Except the fact that 
at the beginning, <laughs> I didn't exactly love Zoe. Like, just, like, seeing her, you know, on the internet and in other people's, like, pictures and stuff, wasn't really a fan from the start. It was literally until I was surprised with her and I took her under my wing and, you know, I got to working with her to see her in lists of possibilities that I started realizing that, you know what, she's like a favorite and it would be a shame if I allowed myself to continue holding me back from her <laughs> because she is such an amazing doll she's so pretty and definitely a favorite for me at the time what I thought was a red flag was the fact that her head is quote unquote huge but that's literally like not even the it's literally not even the case it's just that seeing pictures on the internet it kind of like a lot on homegirl because her head is like de definitely like big and not like you know regular size of a doll but it's not that big if you know what I mean and at the time seeing her like on the internet and in pictures that was what was holding me back from like liking her and wanting her but now that i have her her head is not big like literally love her definitely a favorite she is so photogenic she takes very well to the camera and yeah <laughs> another thing about zoe is that her hair is literally practically like real girl hair and so basically she has the advantage of like being able to get so many like different picture concepts and just things done to her hair because you can do literally like anything to her hair <laughs> um which is like amazing so that's so fun um i haven't had zoe for like really really long but I can tell you in my short time of having her, she's an amazing doll, she's amazing on the camera, and yeah, I just, I love her. She's my favorite. Like, number one. Like, she's going home with the trophy today. Next up is Adora dolls. Once again, cute faces. They're a bit shorter than other 18 inch dolls. Um, they perform well in pictures, alone, and with others. The weird side is that their feet are, like, awkward. Mostly, like, 95% of the time, they fit into irregular 18-inch doll shoes without any problems. And the other times, either the shoe is too big, too small, or since... Their feet were made in like an angle, I would say. They can sometimes format the shoe weird to where you can see the toes like popping out of the shoe. Um, and for that, I have eliminated majority flats and plastic shoes for the girls due to this, which isn't a big deal for me personally anyways. Moving on. When I got my first Adora doll, Kayla, I remember her nails and toes coming painted, and I thought that was cool. Adora dolls come with many bios about them, and I think that's cool because you can get a sense of connection, sometimes more so than create, more so than creating a storyline every single time, especially when you have like, you know, a lot of dolls, if you will. Um, now, a red flag for me is Sienna, my Adora doll from Amazon, the exclusive line, is that her hair is curled, and I absolutely love her hair. Love it, love, 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 love. Um, and the fact that after two years, her hair is still curly, that's like literally like amazing and an accomplishment for me. <laughs> However, I wish that she had 
more hair to like cover like the scalp because the hair is very like see-through um and just not a whole bunch of like coverage so i wish that she had like more hair a wig or something to hide like her skull from being like seen and stuff um since she does have rooted hair but besides that i absolutely adore my adore dolls they are definitely in the top five <laughs> okay guys we're getting to the last bit <laughs> Next is Madame Alexander, the second to last brand that I will be going over. So, <laughs> pretty good brand until I read the tag. I literally never know what brand they are that they fall under because I feel that their dolls are always so different and unique. And the only feature that could click to my brain is that they have the skinny stuffing and the perfectly arched lips that's a favorite of mine because it performs well in pictures. I love these girls. The clothes, the clothes shoes fit perfectly. They have rooted hair. What else could you possibly ask for? Um, I've had my... Charlize, her hair is so long, and I won't lie, it's a little bit, like, fragile, but her hair is still long and thick and amazing. <laughs> still lots of hair for me to, like, brush through even after, like, years and years of having her, and so, yeah, th th this brand is definitely a thousand out of ten for me, so what more can, like, I ask for? <laughs> So, moving on to the last brand that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to know. Okay, we are finally on the last brand that I own. And I say that we should all take a, take a deep breath for this one. So, yeah. American Girl! Yay! <laughs> Let's just um, go ahead and jump into it. So, American Girl is the brand that started off, like, my entire collection of me having 32 dolls. And honestly, I don't think that if I didn't know about American Girl, I would have any other dolls that I have now. So, American Girl gets, you know, a award for something. <laughs> um... The dolls, especially my dolls, I obviously love. However, I don't particularly love American Girl. Um, and I mean, I feel like a lot of people feel the same way as of lately. <laughs> um, a red flag for me is that since American Girl has been around since like forever they have the reputation and you have to pay for their reputation and their brand and i mean that's not necessarily like a bad thing but because they have a lack of quality a lack of what i would say effort and girl don't even get me started on that hair because <laughs> we can be here for weeks um, I feel like it's a waste to pay, like, near, like, $200 for a doll that you're not really getting the quality for. Um, so yeah, diversity is there. Mm, not really. <laughs> and, like, the little bit that they have, they can literally care less. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, and I can go on and on about all of the red flags, but I mean, this is supposed to be a favorites video, so we gotta, you know, turn this around. And so, yeah, um, even though American Girl is, well, American Girl, I have to admit that through all their scandals and ridiculous pricing that they can produce pretty dolls, and it is, like a good like brand to like have like 
<clears throat> mother daughter bonding if you will for like little kids and stuff because like the parents can be into like the historical while the girl is just like wanting the doll um so yeah <laughs> um but yeah they produce pretty dolls and i mean girl you might want to pray that like you don't get a defected doll um especially if you do like go and like throw out like two hundred dollars or possibly more buying direct um because you know tax shipping and who knows what else is thrown in there <laughs> and the dolls are stuffed like really well and sometimes a little bit too well the limbs i love because they can obviously stand alone until the limbs needs to be tight tightened and honestly, I would love if every doll, um, if every doll brand switched over to whatever limbs American Girl has because they are like good limbs and, you know, your doll's limbs get loose, you can like fix them up and all of the things. And I haven't personally like done this, but you can like basically reconstruct your doll from like the inside to the outside, which is like cool because you can make your doll like really unique and um so yeah that's like really cool and the dolls perform really well on camera effort effortlessly <laughs> and dressing them is pretty easy besides sometimes like i said like their stuffing can sometimes be like a little like bump in the road that your doll's pants don't want to go on but that's like pretty rare and there are movies, books, storylines, and matching clothes, and everything that I know mid ki mid kid me enjoyed, and I still enjoy now. <laughs> well, well, well. Here we are at the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned about some new doll brands today. I would like to know down in the comments what doll brands you own and what it is that you look for in a doll and if you want to see more videos like this then you know also let us know and what else <laughs> um stay tuned for more videos to come and with that being said, I will see you guys next time.